If you could give some advice to your 18 year old self, knowing what you know now, what would you like to tell her? Um, don't be so worried about what everyone thinks. Because I think that was you know, really hard for me when I was young because of the bullying, I guess, in primary school. And I was so worried about being so tall and I had a surname that you could make funny nicknames out of. And, you know, German parents and my dad was a big six foot four booming. But he was a funny guy and everyone loved him. But, you know, you could never, you could never not hear him. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I've got that off him too. Um, but, yeah, probably not worry so much about what people think. But I think that also made me drive towards mm -hmm. trying to achieve as well because if maybe if I didn't worry about what people thought of me so much then I wouldn't have cared mm -hmm. what became of me I would have just done whatever happened to be going at that point but because I really cared about what people thought and about my standing in my family or the community or my sport or whatever I did strive to to do the best I could do. Mm -hmm. And now let's pretend that you're 80 and you're looking back on your entire life. Great life. How do you want to describe it? Um, I, would I would want to describe my life. I would like to look back at 80 and go that I've really been an inspiration to people. Not everybody, obviously. There's certain um, ways of doing things that, some, that I, I believe is, is right or good or I try and help people with that people don't agree with. So but I would like to have been able to inspire other people and teach them. I always thought I was going to be a teacher. Mm. And I, I guess in a way I am a teacher now of a bit of things that I've learnt mm. um, through my sporting career. But yeah, I would like to hope that I've inspired people and that I've left my mark in my sport. Um, and people will always remember um, the success that Natalie and I had. And, um, and of course my, my family you know, looks up to me and, and thinks that I've done a pretty good job of being a mum and a wife and all that sort of stuff. So when you get the um, participants of your courses to, to finish the statement, I am, what is your current I am? I am the best mum to my beautiful son and I am the best wife to my husband and we have a, a great loving family that's nice. Yeah. So I guess it's not I, about sport anymore no, or no, achieving, no, you know, in that. But I consider that from the way that you were describing it before, I consider that to be an aspirational target as well as a current yeah. feeling. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and I don't think that I can ever really, there's no, the best is just the best. When I say the best, it's the best that I can do it at because, and then again, I don't really even know what that yeah. level is going to be and I never think that I've ever got there. So I won't just ever rest on my laurels. Um, and, you can, and I try not to compare the way I do things with my family or children or husband or even in sport with other people. That sometimes you can in sport, you can. You can compare against other teams. Well, I'm, you know, we've done better because we've got better results. You can compare in that way. But as a mum, do the best I can do with the son that I have, which is different to the son that someone else has. You know, the situation that you have and. I guess give it the, the very best mm. of efforts.